The holiday season is right around the corner, and this year many are worried that inflation will be the Grinch that stole Christmas. A survey from Deloitte found that 73% of consumers expect higher prices this year as they holiday shop. But despite tight budgets, families are prioritizing celebrating the holiday season. Consumers are cutting out non-essentials in order to give gifts and socialize. 74% say they will spend more or the same on the holidays compared to last year. So what can you do to save some cash while still celebrating? 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell has a look at how, when and where you buy could help you beat inflation. We've all been experiencing inflation, which means our prices have been going up. As a result, people have been trying to eke out savings by starting their Christmas shopping while the Halloween decorations are still out. At the Yellow Door Art Market in Berkeley, they offer free gift wrapping. In August, customers started asking for Christmas wrap. So they'll be like, oh yeah, give me like the green so I can be Christmassy. How much of your shopping have you gotten done so far? I have probably about 40% done. Whoa, that's impressive. Yes. I have not started. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, you're in the majority. <laughs> but this group of early shoppers may not be as small as you'd think. I am a procrastinator when it comes to holiday shopping. How many people are actually shopping early? Well, four out of 10 folks say that they're shopping earlier this year, and we expect to, a quarter of folks to have all their shopping done by the end of this month, October. Steve Rogers is managing director of Deloitte's Consumer Industry Center, which surveys consumers and retailers. He says consumers are planning to spend about the same amount of money as last year, but expect to get fewer holiday gifts to give for it. Can you say bah humbug to inflation? We're seeing folks on average giving nine gifts versus 16 last year. Inflation is with us for a little while. It's not going away right now. Um, and as a result of that, literally, the longer you wait, the less your money is worth. Oakland University marketing professor Michael Greiner says it's not surprising. And it is not just timing that can help you beat inflation. Some have predicted that we might see more inflation in brick and mortar stores due to the fact that most people now shop online, giving online retailers economies of scale. The key is to look for those deals. The way inflation hits us is impacted by things that are happening around the globe. For example, Russia's war in Ukraine has led to sanctions that put a crunch on the supply of diamonds. But the price of gold is down. So the cost of jewelry is a balancing act. It means you're going to have to shop around. Gold is down, silver is down. Uh, the gemstones have remained very stable in their prices. Uh, diamonds are still in good supply. Mike Schulwalter owns the Miner's Den, a family jewelry store in Royal Oak now for 50 years. He says while some costs are up, Decreasing gold and silver prices means shopping at his store is a way to beat inflation. We haven't had uh, any necessity to raise prices and we don't see any reason to. He hopes you'll say cheers to beating inflation by buying jewelry. Many ladies have already come in to create holiday wish lists kept in the store. And the store has a bourbon and bling event coming up in early December where it hopes men will check off those lists. We are Except bourbon that. aficionados and nice. I'll guarantee you, you will appreciate our offerings. In Royal Low, Kim Russell, 7 Action News. A little bourbon, a little jewelry, how could you possibly go wrong, huh? <laughs> no. Something for everybody. Something for everyone. Hey.